one thing that was unique about being captain as a junior is that I still have one more year left. So, you know, even though you're always in a football team and with each season, you want to be really urgent because you don't want to, oh, let's plan for three years down the road, let's plan for next year, you want to win now. So with that, that's different from last year to this year is that this is my last go around. So as far as, oh, you want to, um, I don't want to say, like step on people's toes or people's feelings and things like that. I think it's different from last year to this year is that this is my last time around, so there's not, there's no, there's no holding anything back. There's no, well, you know, if we didn't get it this year, we'll get that rep back next year. We'll have another spring bar to get that rep or something like that. That's not the case this year. This is the last one. So it's a lot. I don't want to say more urgent because last year was, we had the same urgency, like wanting to win now. But for me, it's my senior year now, so it's always just it's, it's real for you. It's a great honor just to – that support from my teammates is huge, you know, to know that they, they see me as a leader. And I, I'm really excited about leading this team. You know, we've got a lot of young guys, a lot of – freshmen that'll play this year so those guys need guidance they need you know maybe some encouragement sometimes it gets tough being a freshman playing with classes I mean it can be overwhelming sometimes I'm excited to be a leader for those guys and kind of be there for them they have a critical role when it comes to our team because without them what is it me and Ray for the only five-year seniors five-year seniors from 2011 so Without them, we don't really even have a, a starting 11, so they play a critical role, and they've done a great job throughout camp and even throughout, uh, throughout going into the season, going, uh, doing a good job as far as getting prepared, getting caught up, and not, not quote-unquote acting like a freshman, but having that upperclassman mentality. We've made tremendous gains, you know, and I, I'm pleased that with everybody we have, we might not be where we need to be, but everybody comes to work every day. You know, I don't think there's any guys that feel complacent that they're good enough and they don't need to get better. I mean, everybody comes to work every single day, and we've only gotten better every single day. A lot of teams in the Mountain West are spread, and, uh, but we're not one of our offenses. And we're a traditional offense. We're a pro-style offense. And that's what North Dakota is. So one thing that's been a blessing in disguise is that from day one of camp, we've been going against our, our offense, which is heavy personnel, full backs, under center. Well, we've been we've been doing that all at camp, and that's exactly what we'll be seeing this Saturday. So it's going to be it's kind of a relief knowing that you've uh, repped and seen things that you'll be seeing in a, this Saturday for two, since three weeks ago. So. It's nice just to have to prepare for a hard team that does lots of different coverages and things like that. I mean, with uh, with some vanilla teams, some of the preparation isn't as tough. You know, you don't have to necessarily watch as much film just because you basically know what they're going to do. With North Dakota, they're, they're everywhere. They can bring anything, so it, it keeps us on our toes. It's been a while since I've been out there in a live game getting hit by the defense and, uh, as opposed to having my blue jersey on in practice. So I'm excited to get that first completion, maybe get hit a few times and kind of get in a rhythm.